Hello. Welcome everyone. To more nonsense here. <laughs> so I did do I did one thing off stream. Because, you know, we were having some issues with the uh, dialogue, figuring that out. It's really hard to make like a whole system for that. So people mentioned yarn was a good one to use. Or yarn spinner. So it is now a lot easier to get uh, dialogue working. So I still have my X to interact, but now we have this here, and I can actually select the options and it'll do a different thing depending on which one I pick. And this one fails the date right now. <laughs> Learn to accept a compliment. You know what? I'm canceling this date. Goodbye. Date failed! And then there's the, uh... A little message from the fail te- the fail- What is- what's the character called? I don't know. The you died screen. Hold on, my music- this is a little loud. I feel like. So yeah, uh, I guess we have to figure out what we're doing next. I have a few ideas. Um, there's some ideas I've been getting from the Discord. Which maybe I should try and find those messages. Uh... <clears throat> Just about, like, the structure of the game and stuff. So there is this message from... Ras here. Which, in my opinion, is a bit overscoped, but I'll... It is interesting. Nice. Can I, I can't zoom into this. But it's in the first state you'll automatically lose have your heart broken. The pieces are all over the place with other characters. And they give you a skill back when you find them. Kind of lost to me the first character that broke your heart. You'll win the date, learning that you don't need to, someone to love yourself and you can be happy on your own. So I like some ideas from this. I don't think I'm doing... I'm gonna make a skill for every character, because that's kind of... a lot. But I like the idea of... Um, kind of restoring your heart... throughout the game by doing the dates. And a lot of people want some kind of, um, character who is, like, arrow and, like, doesn't date anyone. So I have a couple ways... I have a couple ideas to get this stuff in. So let me pitch some ideas I've had. With MS Paint! Okay, so here's my idea, because we need a setting, we need a more solid setting, and like story and kind of stuff like that. So what I'm thinking is... We're at like... We're kind of in this area, which is like the land... Land of Broken Hearts, or something. So everyone gets sent here when they, their heart is broken. And you're actually trapped in here until your heart is restored. So early on in the game, 
How do I go back to painting? Okay. There's like some kind of door. That's a very long door. There's like the door to escape the land of broken hearts that you have to open. And so you have like a love. You have to like collect love or something. So you start at like zero. And then when you win a date, you get like plus a certain amount, like plus 50 or whatever. And you need like 200 or something to get through here. You think that's a good idea, chat? Because you, you're the creative director, you have to like approve of everything. And then in this way, we can have the Souls-like mechanic, where if you die to the... the character, if you fail the date, then you lose whatever love you have. And then when you go back to the date, you can like restore what you lost. Sounds interesting. And here's another way, here's another thing I have, idea I have. Here's another idea I have kind of surrounding the Souls-like idea that we wanted to try and implement a little bit. So the date, when you actually enter a date, I'm thinking it's going to look like a boss arena. So if you got like a stump here or something and circles on here. Right, you walk in, and then the gate locks behind you. And then, like, dialogue starts up, and we can, kind of the first time it happens, we can kind of write it off like it's gonna be a boss fight, and then just, like, suddenly twist it to, uh, being a date instead. So, like, you think it's just a platformer where you're, like, fighting bosses and stuff? But then it just, it turns into a date <laughs> instead. Looks like a boss arena. So yeah, forced date. I mean, we are having you like fail the date and it's kind of like you die. So it kind of goes along with that. And one more idea, um, I should have had this away from the chat here. One more idea, because we have so many characters, and I'm only going to have like four or five datables. So I'm thinking we have an NPC here. I don't know who they'll be, we'll pick someone. And they kind of tell you like, Oh, these are the- they, they tell you about the gates. And then at the end of the game, they're not even there anymore. And once you go through the door, you find that they just got through by, like, accepting and loving themselves. And then that's how we can work in the, uh, the arrow character. So I don't know who this will be, but it'll be one of the designs. And that's a lot more simple than making a whole alternate route where we, like, do no dates, because a lot of people wanted that. I think this is a good compromise. If people want to like design this character specifically, the uh, the person who stands outside the gate, or if we just want to pick from the like pool of characters we have already. But yeah, that's my idea for that. So I guess that's kind of what we're planning here. I was also thinking 
in terms of uh, the map design, maybe. You kind of start at the door. Well, I don't know if you just start at the door. The door needs to be easily accessible from, like, later on. You don't want to have to backtrack through the whole first area. So maybe, like, you start kind of here. Maybe there's a bit of a tutorial, easy platform section. You spawn over here. Some easy platforms. Then there's the door. Then a bit over here, there's, like, the first date. And then maybe we can, like, you know, second date goes, like, up here somewhere. But then there's, like, a shortcut back down. We could have, like, shortcuts back to the, uh, the center. And all the dates are kind of looped around, and you can do them. I, I think... Circle is first date. The other ones, you have more freedom to do whenever. So there's circle, probably hexagon. The void would be down here. And then... This is platform. So that's my idea for the design. Well, it's not really a Metroidvania. You're gonna have, like, dash and jump and stuff, and then... You can just kind of go wherever. But I like- I, I like games that have more exploration and are not completely linear, so... I kind of want to have this be a bit more open, and like, here you can go up or down. If you really want to, you could, like, go all the way to this one first, but it'd be kind of... This will be one of the harder dates, maybe? Actually, this is gonna be the harder date. So maybe I'll switch this around somehow. I think the void is like a hard date to do. Probably. And then the death screen isn't really here. Like, it's it's when you lose. I'm thinking it's either if you wait on the death screen for like a certain amount of time or if you die like too many times. That's how you access the, uh, you died screen, or whatever it's going to be called. But yeah, we're trying to keep the scope low, so I don't want this to be too huge of a game. But I think this is doable. <laughs> this is... So we need to save this. <laughs> this is very important design documents right here. Hold on, where's my uh, my Google Drive? I need to save this to here. The game design doc. have me trying to figure out the code in here still. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Design. sec here. Here's our dock. With all our characters and stuff. Get over here. Everything keeps spawning on my left, on my right screen. It's not supposed to.
design. Important design. Uh, stuffs. Alright, it's good that we have that there. Anyways, let's get back to the actual game. Now that I have a more clear idea of where we're going with it. So yeah, if people want to go off of those ideas too, and like maybe design the the gate or like the area or something, because you know I don't want this to just be white squares the whole time. But we can kind of start designing the actual levels here, maybe. Maybe I'll save this as the demo scene. Make a new one. But that's kind of a pain to part everything over. I think we'll just work from here. So we have bounce pads. And platforms. That's kind of all we have right now. And spikes. We have some hazards. to be able to make like walls and stuff, so that's a bit high. We want the starting area for you to be blocked to the to the left. And now I like putting this to a grid. That's a lot better when I have it to a grid. So I'm gonna put it to zero zero. Is it snapping to the grid right now? Okay, it is. I think my snap settings though are a bit low. I want, to, I want it to snap to only the grid. Where's that option? Uh, forget where the grid options are. Okay, well, I found I found it eventually. Move one every time. That way it'll stay on the grid. Okay. Well, it actually didn't. So. Oh, cause the the Y isn't on the zero. Why isn't the Y on the zero? That's weird. Oh, it's because it's 29 scale, so it's uneven. There we go. We can also maybe have a bit of, like, an intro text. When you, like, wake up here and you're like, oh, where am I? Zero this out. Line it up. The scale is not even a round number. Okay. What? That's weird. Why is this not... Why is this offset like that? Okay. What? It was on, wasn't it? I guess not. It's like snapping to the middle. I wonder why it's doing that. I want it to be on the grid. It's really weird. Why is it doing that? I wonder how you counter that. Yeah, it's because the transform's in the center, but like, it's the center in this one. Why did this one work? 
apparently always on a 0.5. Okay. Well, I mean, that works. It's just a bit awkward. There's no glitchiness with the walls, right? Walls are good. Okay. <laughs> Playtesting.exe. Just run into walls and make sure it doesn't break. Dash into the wall. Okay, so this is going to be like the starting area. So this is going to be very simple. Platforming. I don't think I want this to reach this long. I kind of want to have the terrain be more interesting. Make this like a 20. I have like a platform to jump on for fun. Need more walls. I'll go down a bit here. It's off centered again. It's annoying that it does that. Uh, this is really off. What happened? I feel like my snap settings aren't working properly. How did I get to 0.37? the scale to be like five or something. So that you like have to jump. What? Okay, what's going on here? It's just, okay, this platform I dragged over from the other side and it's not in the right spot. That's fine. Dragged it over from the demo area. So once I have, I only use these platforms, it should be fine. Although, what happened here? It's maybe a bit high of a jump. <laughs> I didn't even make that jump, what? Do we have inconsistent jump heights? How's this working? Why is the jump inconsistent? <laughs> oh no. That's really weird. I thought this was the height from the other side, right? Isn't this the height I've been using? Oh no, I've been using an arbitrary height. That's not even two units. Okay. So I should increase the jump power a bit, maybe. So it's actually focused on the units we're using. 375. The game starts you in Path of Pain. There we go. It's still a good jump height, I think. It's a bit high, but... Let's, let's make it 365. Yeah, we'll just make the first platforming section impossible. Still kind of bumped there. I mean, you make it up anyways. It's fine. Maybe I'll make this a bit bigger, though. Didn't I just increase this? Oh, it was like inside of that. I'll do something like this so it looks a little more 
queen. Even numbers snap properly and the other ones don't. It's weird. Is there a gap here? No, there's not a gap. That's just the grid line. So yeah, this is like a forgiving fall if you fall here. Then you just have to climb back up. But then over here we'll start having hazards. I'm gonna make this one smaller. I've already edited this grid and snap. I'm not sure why it's a bit awkward. Oh, we have a, an issue here, chat. I have a wall that protrudes above the platform, you get stuck on it sometimes. Here's an easy way to fix this though. Just don't do it. <laughs> Just make sure the platform is always the one that's actually there. Just have to remember that. My ta okay, I'm gonna snap to point five, I think. I'm gonna snap to point five. Where is that again? I already forgot. Here. Point five. That'll be a lot easier. Okay. So that's a platform, that's a platform. It's good. Yeah, this is the short hike OST. I'm making a game based on chat's uh, suggestions and stuff. Like we're having all chat's characters. People really want the characters though, that's the thing. People haven't really been suggesting uh, anything else, really. I've gotten some story ideas, but... Should Dash be a pickup we get later, or should we just have it here? Pick up. Maybe we should get it when we get to the door. Okay, chat, if you want a fun design uh, task, here's a design task. I've, I've got an idea. We're gonna have four areas, right? Because there's four main dates. I'm thinking the first area is going to be like, you know, maybe some like grassy area. The classic, like starting level area. Maybe like logs or something, I don't know. Circles like standing on a stump. when you find her. But we need more areas. We need an area for the void. So wherever the void's gonna be, I guess maybe it'd be a bit like spookier. We need an area for hexagon. He's like the nervous. Nervous friend. I don't know where hexagon's gonna be, no idea. And then we need an area for Shelly the platform. So if you have ideas for like what the areas are gonna look like, 
can post them in the Discord. We have a channel for game suggestions. But yeah, these areas... It would be nice to figure those out. We can even like name them and have like Dark Souls text pop up <laughs> when you get to them. So I always love that in games. That's always fun. But yeah, that's that's probably a fun design uh, project, right? I'm gonna do some really uh, you know quick art for the areas. Like, we're not gonna spend too much time on art, but I am gonna make it a bit more interesting than just, uh, you know, squares. I'll have like little tile, I'll make like a little tile set and probably just have like a color background to match it rather than an in-detail background. So we'll keep it simple, but not this simple. <laughs> this is why I'm snapping it to the grid because that makes it way easier to make the art properly. Also, I don't like how this is uneven. So we're not going to have dash here, is what we're deciding. So this is going to be a little section we're going to have to do some... Jumping, just jumping and walking platforming. So I'm thinking maybe we have a bit of a vertical section. Start to climb up a lot higher here. Robin, thank you for the two gifts. Also, uh, I missed like a billion subs. Mikey, Favisa, Riffransky, and Flightless Finch, thank you for the subs. And Birdie's Blue, thank you. Are they like muted? I, I don't. I feel like I didn't hear those. Maybe I'm just. I'm too into this. I'm gonna make this like 11 high. And then we're going to have to climb up it on little platforms. Level design is fun. This is the fun part. You can make that jump. I would normally like go on grid paper or something and draw out a map, but since I'm trying to do it all on screen, well, that's a good jump too. You have to kind of go a bit further. Let's optimize the speed run of this little section. Here we go. Optimal speed run. Damn it! <laughs> I was trying to cut the corner on the. Currently, jumps are just a set height, so it's like, it's kind of hard to save time when you have to wait for the full jump to run out. Maybe we can enhance the player controller later. Okay, let's start having some hazards here. So once you get up here... Oh, that needs to be fixed. This needs to be... Like that. I think it was here? No, it was like here. This is going to be like a hazard pit. So we've got our red. These are hazards. And now when we actually have these in game, I'm probably gonna like have spikes or something in their place. And you're not gonna see the red, but this is like 
Why is the scale... Okay, that's a weird scale. Make that even. Make these even. But yeah, for now we'll have these as a visual idea of whatever is going to be put there in the art. But it's not just going to be red squares. I want you to actually have a chance of falling here. Although it is still the early parts of the game, so we're not going to go, like, Path of Pain. We're going to have a Cuphead tutorial uh, scenario once IGN gets their hands on this game. Maybe you have to like circle back. Maybe this is higher up and then this is higher up. And then the ceiling also has no. Maybe. Currently you can air hang jump, I think. Can you air hang jump? Actually you probably can't. No, you can't. Okay. It's already different from branches to branches. Okay, that's too high. But you can make that, and it's a pretty far jump, so I like that. Because then there's a chance you're like, oh shit. Oh! I teleported to the non existing platform. So yeah, these are our respawn points, which will be invisible once we get them in-game. And we'll also probably get a brief animation to play when, instead of just snapping to them, but... Actually, you want to make sure you hit these, right? These need to be pretty big. It's like a six. So you can't jump over it. Jump! Okay, I made that pretty easily. I need to pretend I'm bad at games. Okay, it worked. Now that is impossible, so I need to move this down. And I would like another hazard here before we get through. Also chat, do you think we should have like pick upable hearts? Just as like kind of like coins, and then you can like slightly get your love higher just by picking things up. Kind of like coins or something. It's just a thought of like how much of those should I put in? Should we have like an alternate route where maybe you only do a few dates but you pick up all the hearts? Because Currently, the only idea with the love meter is to open the door to beat the game. There's nothing else to really do with them. And I don't really want to have, like, shops and stuff, because that gets complicated. And plus, if you're spending the love that you need to get out of the door, it's kind of weird. It doesn't really make sense. could just be like a top score thing, like you only need 200 to get out, but you can get like 300 or something. 
and then you could just you know you could skip dates if you route your if you route it properly. Coins only run, maybe. Although we'd probably have to make that. It'd be a bit difficult to do that. I feel like because I need a lot of pickups. I need like this pickup is worth fifty if you get here, but then it's like well that needs to be worth that needs to be like it needs to feel like you did something worth 50, rather than just finding that somewhere. Self-care, self-love stuff? <laughs> Maybe. It's just the more things we add in like that, the more complicated this gets and the longer we're gonna have to spend making this. I'll keep that in mind though. We could have just something else, like you can pick up something else, but I don't really see us needing other currencies or anything like that. So our two options are like, have there actually be a route where you can just pick stuff out? Or have there not be enough stuff to pick up to get out? Or like skip anything? You know what, let's do a poll. We haven't done a poll in a while. Maybe I'll have three options. Where's the start a poll thing? Here. Should pickups let you skip the date? I word this. Yes, all dates. Yes, some. Or no. Just bonus points. So yes all would be there's an entirely separate route where you can just pick things up. Some would be maybe you can skip like one or two dates. And then no is you have to do all the dates to beat the game. But you can get bonus points by finding the pickup. The hardest one to implement is the alternate route. Because I can see that being hard to do. I don't think this jump is possible. I don't want to see. Oh, I'm bonking my head now. <laughs> we are a path of pain now. That's a hard jump to do. <laughs> That's probably too hard to... Uh have in the first area. I'd be down to put that jump later on, but these jumps are too hard, I think. Okay, I know the first area is good. Let's move the player. Actually, let's move this over a bit. Put the player up here. Oh, right. I was going to fix this. That's- I'm still gonna hit my head there, right? <laughs> I wanted to have a circle back thing, but... I need something more like this. I keep hitting my head on that. Now it's too far! Well, you can make that, but it's like pixel perfect.
That's good. But then your the main jump, the main difficult jump is not even above the spikes. Huh. I might have to just go forwards. Maybe something like that. Well, I want this to be a kind of far jump. I just don't want you to bonk your head. That's a scary jump. Could I have a pickup up here. And then maybe there's more there's more hazards up here that you have to jump over. Yeah, we'll code in I'll code in uh pickups soon. The idea of this being kind of indoors. Kind of like an interior section here. Vertical hazard on the right here. So I have to like fall down. There's like, this is so cramped though. Yeah, I'll upload it when we're done. Maybe I shouldn't have this here. some kind of vertical hazard here. I think this is also a bonk moment. Jump buffer and coyote time. I do not know how to make those. <laughs> right now you can jump on the very last pixel. What? That was weird. What is that? Never mind, apparently you can't. It like nerfs your jump. <laughs> what is that? If you jump on the last frame. You got like a nerfed shitty jump. <laughs> That's so weird. It's probably because you start falling. Okay, hold on. I think I can fix this actually. Why is that to reload? Didn't I try this though? I feel like I tried this and it didn't work. Vector 2.0. Why is this so laggy? Hello? 
Visual Studio is like lagging like crazy. This Unity project was not generated for Visual Studio. What? What are you talking about? Preferences, external tools, and select Visual Studio. I already did that. Why is it saying I didn't do that? That's ridiculous. What? Is that why it's lagging? <laughs> Preferences. It's here! What are you talking about? Did that open? No, that's in Visual Studio 2020. That's so dumb, what the... I guess I'll try reopening it. I don't know what's happening with this. It's like lagging and it's saying it's not set up. It's not the proper like unity thing which it is so I don't know why it's saying that we're we good now okay I'm gonna try just zero why I did this! Why is it doing this to me? What the fuck? I hate software. This just takes me to a download link to download Visual Studio in Unity. Select and modify if already installed. Do I have to modify it? Workloads. Where's this? On Unity Hub, on the left, select the install, select the add button. The add Unity version below, select the version of Unity install. I have Unity installed! Why is this link me here? Configure Unity to see Visual Studio. Edit Preferences, External Tools. Select Visual Studio. That's what I did. It's already there. It's literally there. It's there! What else do I have to do? Install or update the Visual Studio Editor package. Is the, does it have to update, update it? Windows Package Manager. <laughs> Visual Studio Editor package. I mean, that'd be great if this would load. Hello? Okay. Visual Studio Editor. Currently installed. Update available. Is that it? You could just tell me you have to update instead of telling me, oh, you don't have it installed. Here's how to install it. Was this really all just about an update? Jeez. <laughs> okay, are we good now? Are we good now? Is the message gonna go away? Is the message gone? The message is gone! It was all about an update! Frick you, Microsoft. What? 
Okay, now my jump is even more nerfed. Why, though? I set the speed to zero. That looks so jank, too. What the heck? I set the speed to zero, and then I apply a force. And... It, I lose height? That doesn't make sense. Shouldn't the force be the same? Oh, I'm setting... Okay, hold up. Let me try one more thing. Like, this probably isn't going to help, but I am setting the X to zero, which is why it's jank. Oops. Rigid body dot... Let me zoom in for y'all. Plus you got X and then zero on the Y. Okay, it was just lagging. We Devin. Devin Devin stream. These little <laughs> these tiny little jumps. If I set higher power, maybe it'll work better and be more consistent. Because at least now, right? It's always a shitty little jump. It doesn't get worse. It's always a shitty little jump. Which is better than it half it randomly when you're on like the last frame of a jump. How I, how I do that? Chat, I just want to say, this glitch is literally in Hollow Knight, so... <laughs> Where you, like, stick on a wall sometimes. I can't even replicate it. Don't you love when you have a bug you can't replicate consistently? Those are the best bugs. What the heck? How I do that? Was it out of a jump? I literally can't do it. It's like a one in a million chance. How is the wall? Yeah, that's a wall. So I was standing on top of the wall. So that's rare to happen, but we can probably fix it. Just assuming what happened is uh, these are on the same spot, but sometimes Unity doesn't know what to pick when there's two collisions like this. So if I can just make the top and bottom... Well... Hmm. Yeah, you can do that. If I make it all 360 surface arc, right? Then it should be slippery on the entire surface. But what happens if I land on one? I'm curious. What happens if I do this? Uh, never mind. That didn't work. Just set it back. Physics updates not registering where you are. Set rigid body collision detection to continuous. Huh. So what does that do? What does that actually do? I can't- I mean, I'm not gonna be able to replicate this anyways. 
So like... <laughs> even beforehand, I don't know if the bug's fixed or not, but I'll assume it is, I guess. I mean, now you can see I'm like... I don't know if this gap existed before, but you can see the gap between me and the wall now. Whatever. <laughs> it was a rare glitch anyways, it's not a huge deal. Where'd my jump go? Oh right, my jump sucks. Because we're trying to fix the jump thing. Let me try... Instead of add force, what if we just set the velocity? Okay, first though... What if we like... Make the force just insanely high? Eight hundred. Whoa! Never mind, that works. I don't think I'm having the same glitch where... It's like it changes when I jump in the corners and stuff. Seems to be good. Yeah, I don't- I- it doesn't seem to be doing that anymore. Bug fixed! The game is saved. Okay. <laughs> but I need to make the jump, like, 600 or something. I'm gonna try and get it the same as it was before... ...the- the great j jump nerf. Okay, not enough. 650? Grace time. Have two functions, one for registering the input of a jump, one for actually jumping. Looks like the player is on the ground. I don't think I'm going to do those. <laughs> but thanks. It's, I'm just like confused now. Was, was I making this jump before? Or did I never, like, test this? Ah! How's the jumps? Okay, no, this is not high enough of a jump. Because I was getting up there. Six... Seventy... Six sixty-five? I just, I, I don't want to make, like, some amazing, incredible game. We're just trying to make something fun with chat. Like, I don't want to spend a bunch of time on technical stuff. Kind of want to just get something out. Like, I, that probably isn't that hard, but I just don't want to be spending a bunch of time on things that aren't important. What the heck? Why did I jump nowhere that time? You see that? Thought I fixed the jumping. One of those jumps I went like nowhere. What? What the frick? I think I'm abandoning jump force. Or add force. It feels like inconsistent. Which is weird because I thought that's what I used for my other platformer, but. Maybe I just never noticed it there? What did I use for my other? I thought I used this. But I never have issues with jump height on that. on like branches for some reason. Or I don't, I don't feel like I did. Yeah, set velocity. That's very weird. Maybe it's changed in newer Unity 
hacked versions or something. Set velocity to jump power. Y velocity. Y equals. You know, it didn't used to be able to. Whoa! I think that's a bit too high. Oh, I didn't set it to zero. I didn't, I didn't set it to zero, chat. Oh! Wait! That was just how high the jump was. It actually started falling now. That was just the jump height. I thought it was constantly going up, but that was actually how high the jump was. <laughs> it's a good jump height, right, chat? Did I clip through that? I think I clipped through that. We gotta test this more. Do I clip through things? Oh! No? You don't. Collision detection too good. Okay, um, jump power needs to be slightly lowered, just a little bit. Whoa, dude, it's so, it's so high. Jeez, I need to, I need to be like five. Damn it. We went too far. 15. Whoa, okay. Those are some hops. Little lower, 12. I might need to, I'm gonna have to do like point fourteen point two five or something. No, that's good. Fourteen's good. It's kind of exactly how it used to be. Okay, so I kinda wanna change this because it looks weird. Maybe just kind of make this a uh, make this like group together here. It's one taller. Can you make that? Okay, that's dumb. <laughs> that reaches above the platform. <laughs> Can I do this and it'll be fine? Probably. Okay. 
boop functionality. <laughs> so you like, you click on the character and they react. It's kind of a funny idea. Oh, shoot. It's a bit of a bonk there, but it's not that hard to make. Maybe that's fine. And what else can we do here? We're gonna have the circle be kinda over here soon. Or I think I'm gonna have the gate be over here. And then circle will be slightly after the gate. Scrunkly. <laughs> I'll consider the boop functionality, okay? That'll be like an additional feature if we have time. Let me check uh, the Discord, see if people message anything. Maybe Hexagon's area can be enclosed and feel claustrophobic. It can be a forest and Hexagon hides in the trees. Void can have an oddly disturbing but comfy space. I mean, decent suggestions. I was hoping people would maybe do rough ideas of drawings, but... The hazards were red flags. <laughs> Cause like... <laughs> you're getting red flags from the person you're dating. Shelly's area could be sky cloud themed. Interesting, but would Shelly be a cloud then? I guess you could just have platforms in the sky. Like Yoshi's Island style. There's like those sky maps, but they just have like normal platforms. But like the background is like sky and stuff. Neon light city or town. I mean, that's really hard to make, but... It's an idea. Garden. A garden would be cool. We could have like a. <laughs> we could do Queen's Gardens. We have like thorns and stuff as the hazard. I mean, what's gonna be what's gonna be the hazard in like the the starting area? I don't even know. Spikes. Okay, get up here. I'm gonna probably have another respawn here. Maybe you fall between these two. Make sure you like stay in the middle. And that kind of brings you into the main area once you fall through here.
make this a bigger jump. I think that's doable. I'll have to, t I'll have to check that though. This can be like roofed off. No, not zero. Ten. It's gonna be like nine. Oh, that also needs to be ten. And this is like the tutorial platform section, so once you're through here, you're gonna find like the gate section. Over there. We're making a platformer slash dating sim. So you gotta get through some platforming areas and then you can do some dates. So yeah, if you if you go too far here. Build momentum! <laughs> oh shortcut. Okay, never mind. This is like, that's the only way to get up. Let me move this over one. And we can have this be like a little secret area, optional area. With some hearts. Okay, let's get the player over here and we'll check out this whole section. See if he's spawning over here. thing up there. Maybe you bonk your head there. It's not too hard to make that. That is a bit too hard to make though. <laughs> AKA impossible. maybe. You don't like the bonk head jump? I guess, it, yeah, it is a little scuffed. what to do here because that ruins like everything 
I have to redesign this whole area. There's nothing I can really do about it. Maybe that's better? No, he's still- there, no, what I, no matter what I do, you bonk your head. There's no avoiding it. Unless I completely redesign the area. I liked the idea of going back and then forward again. But I don't think I can make it happen without the bonk. Unless I do the one-way platforms, but... Should I do one some one-way platforms? Or should I focus more on just having the solid platforms for the whole game? This would be a little weird to just have one one-way platform in the one spot you bonk your head. for variation. There's not really any... I've been designing with the solid in mind for this whole area, so... It's not really a good section for it. Keep the one ways as clouds or something? Yeah. I don't know, bonking is kind of stupid anyways, like, you don't really want to have that. Definitely doesn't feel so great. Do something more like this. Where you, like, circle back. Back and forth. short jump. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of complicated though. Although it is kind of annoying full jumping constantly. Oh yeah, see? Because then you still have to jump over here to get there. That's pretty good. It's just now the first jump is really easy. Which is also something I was trying to avoid, but... It's fine, it's the tutorial section. You can still mess up. Ah! As I'm doing now. Okay, there's the starting little tutorial-ish area. Let's add some pickups. You know what? I'm going to make the graphic for the pickup. Or <laughs> a rough graphic for it. Because we know what wa we want it to be. So I guess I'll open this. Trying to think, like, should we do more pixel art? I'm more familiar with pixel art, but we could also do... something else. You know, there's, there's a, a kind of style I like. Maybe we'll go for it. Where you use the, uh... the pixely brush, but it's kind of thick. Like that. 
It has it gives you like a bit of this like lower you know it's not super high detail, but it's a little more you have a little more space to draw rather than the pixel art. So we kind of go for a style like that. There's our uh, our character. I don't know if our character has a hat. Those are, that's what we bow tie. That doesn't look right. That <laughs> didn't look right. But yeah, that's kind of an idea I have. Um, I don't know if... Does Gimp have a brush like that? I think it does. I can also use Krita. I have both. I use both for separate situations. Uh, the fuck? Okay, there we go. See, this has the pencil, so maybe if I just make the pencil bigger? Why does this have an aspect ratio? Just you want you want that uh what is it called? Transparent background. I don't know if I really like how this one looks. Doesn't that look too high res? Maybe I just have too big of a file. 32, maybe? And now it looks kind of weird still. I don't know, I feel like it's not... It's not the same as the MS Paint. I don't know why it's not. I like how that looks more. Am I just weird? Does that look the same? It probably looks the same. Or like very similar. Well, that looks crappy. Let me get a bit bigger. 48. I could try using Krita for this. I don't know, like maybe the brush style matters a lot. And actually looking nice. Cause this is just like a square. I think the uh well it's supposed to be a circle. This is maybe decent. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. It's weird, right? It shouldn't make that much of a difference. Obviously we're gonna be- it's gonna be kind of zoomed in. MS Paint looks better, <laughs> but it doesn't have transparency. It's such a pain in the ass to draw things in Paint and then like save it and then load it in another thing and then remove it. No, that definitely looks wrong. Like, why is it so thin in the one spot? There's no like in-between size thing. And then that's too thick. Three point five. 
Why did it put it? Why did it set it to ten thousand? Three point five. Oh, that's good. Although I can't draw a heart with my frickin' mouse. <laughs> is what we're learning. I kind of want to ha have a bit of a... You know, it doesn't... I don't want it to be sy completely symmetrical and perfect looking, but... I don't want it to look terrible. We'll get it eventually. Uh, redo it. <laughs> I should not be putting this much time into this at all. I should just draw one and like be like that's good that's good it's perfect okay so I'm gonna make this white maybe and then we can like color it in in unity should I do that We'll do that. Okay, there's our heart. <laughs> I'm gonna export this. I really need a folder on my desktop of this game or something. Give me a sec. PDF? No! Not PDF. I like clicked on a PDF by accident and it like changed it to export as PDF. I don't want a PDF of this 48 pixel heart. Uh, what did I save? The, what did I call the folder? Okay. I know you can't see it. I don't want you seeing all my files. <laughs> Heart. Okay, so here's the thing we have to do. Pixels per unit. I need to figure out a good size for this. So this is a 48 by 48. Is that going to work? That's a good size. One unit per pixel. Set to point no filter so it looks better. And what we can do is in here we can set the color to whatever we want. He's unreal. We, need, we definitely need the lighting systems to be perfect in this game. 
Okay, I'm gonna put, there's gonna be one here, so. Put that there. Gonna add a box collider. It's not proper. Can make this a lot smaller than it looks just because you'll pick it up like pretty easily still. Maybe six. Now, player script. We're going to add a new thing. I should put this. I'll put this at the bottom. Int. Love. Oh, I already have on trigger enter, so if collision tag equals heart, which I'll have to add. Love plus equals one and collision dot game object uh, destroy. Destroy it. Destroy the heart. Now we need to add a new tag, make it heart. Make sure I don't misspell it this time. We're gonna go to the uh, canvas. I wish it would focus on there, okay. We're gonna have a little UI, whoops. I'm breaking everything. Where's that thing I just made? Didn't I just make a UI thing? Apparently not. I just clicked on it though. Create new text. Jeez. Some placeholder UI here. Text. I'm, I would normally do this in a separate, uh, what is it, a separate script, but because this is like the only thing that's going to be here, there's no health, there's no other stuff. I'll just put it in here. If we end up having a more complicated UI, I can make a script, but I don't want to make a script just for like one thing. So for now, I'll leave it in here. Just because this isn't going to be really complicated. For now. Love text equals love plus love, which is the actual variable which stores what we actually have. It should start at zero. Then I just need to drag that in the editor. Love 
subtext. Oh, I should probably set to zero at first. <laughs> oh, it does. Okay. Uh, this is not a trigger. This is a solid heart. One script with a bunch of ifs, exactly. Untagged. God damn it. I thought I'd tag that. There we go. Now we got one. So, you know, that very simple for now, but. Makes it so that you can, like, find some pickups here and there. Put, like, three up here. It's a little something else to do, at least. Yeah, I went to school for it. I made one game. <laughs> and then I kind of stopped for a long time because... It wasn't really going anywhere, I couldn't really find any work. And the game I made, like, didn't get much attention or anything. But streaming was going well for me, so I'm like, I'm gonna just focus on streaming. I have three love. I thought I had four. I guess I never got this one. Wait, what? Didn't I get four? Is this bugged? <laughs> Wait, is this bugged? Why do I only have three? One. Huh? Did it glitch last time? I think it glitched last time. Maybe I touched two on the same frame or something and it got confused? Well, that's not good. I can't even replicate it. I skipped the first one. No, I didn't. It was gone. Oh, I put it on the wrong platform. This was supposed to be here. This was like the optional platform. That's like a, a, a like a, one that you need to jump on. I wanted that to be on an optional one. Okay, I don't think it's glitched. I was just confused. I don't like this jump. The reason I don't like this jump is because it's one pixel, or it's one unit, and you have to full hop. So I have to either decide to, like, change that, or... Code an entire mechanic of lighter jumps. So I'm just gonna change it. <laughs> should we get chat dude? I mean you're you're the creative directors here. Should we get variable height jumps? Should I figure that out? Should we spend like a long ass time trying to get that working? Okay. <laughs> I've never done that before, so. I think how it would work is let me get to the how we do jumps right now. So right now we have jump power, which is a consistent number. Uh, we press jump, it applies the jump power. We would need to somehow decide that based on how long you press the button. So... 
So, we do pass through a number. Oh. I think this is supposed to be power. I messed that up, actually. Because I passed through the same... I use this for the boost pads, too. With that, the boost pads would have the same jump as the jump power. Uh... Where's the inputs? See, the reason I didn't do this is because it's actually hard. Like, I've never done this before. So you're making me work, chat. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to watch a tutorial or something. So we just have space. How would I even check how long that's being held? You'd have to check, like, for key up. This is too hard, chat. I'm telling you right now, if we want to do this, I'm gonna have to watch an entire tutorial. It's gonna take, like, an hour. <laughs> I don't think we should do it. Whoops, what did I just do? I control Z by accident. Did I fix it? <laughs> I broke everything. Alright chat, I'm gonna decide to not do this because I feel like that's boring. I'd rather actually work on the game than watch tutorials for like, hours. We're keeping it simple. I'll just design around it. That was the plan anyways. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to still do like, oh, chat decides everything, but like, when chat's like, oh, you should code this complex, like, adaptive thing that I don't- I've never done before in my life. Like, sure, that would be cool, but do you want to sit here for two hours while I watch a tutorial in silence? Probably not. Alright, this is gonna be where the gate is. So I go back to the little design thing I drew. I was gonna have a way to come up from below here. Yeah, I can make this work here. I don't know if I should maybe have, like, a graphic for this. For the gate. I could just make a placeholder one and maybe update it later. But I want to keep this brush size. So this brush is 3.5 on the pencil. But I want this to be a lot bigger. Probably like 120, maybe. That's kind of small still, right? Uh, 
180. Maybe height 180 by 120 width. Is this consistent? Can I change this and it not change the other one? The wall, or the gate. <laughs> I'm gonna have it all be all wobbly like this. And then we're gonna have like the heart door. Yes, we need to make sure all art is pencil drawn <laughs> for authenticity. I'm kind of thinking like it's kind of like ancient stone kind of thing. have like cooler patterns. Vines. Spelling something. The ancient love door. It's perfect. I like the vines idea though. good? Does that make it worse or better? Better? I'll have to, at some point, I'll have to, like, animate this opening. But <laughs> it'll be really simple. Better, okay. It's gonna be, like, a grassy area, I think. We could even make, like, a... This, this little area has, like, its own style. Near the, the gate. It's like the Firelink Shrine of this game. It's got like vines and old... Old stone stuff, perhaps. Okay, let me just get this in game and I'm probably going on break for a bit. But we're we're making progress. Look at this. We've got like a freaking whole area. We got the earliest bits of art assets. Things are going on. The gate. Okay, make sure this is 48, so it's the same scale. No filter. It's a little small. Isn't it? Maybe a bit smaller than I thought. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, I don't know. That's really small. I might redo that. We could like redo it off of that design, but make it bigger. Yeah, that's that seems like a normal size door, right? I don't feel like that's important enough. I like the design though, I like the colors. I think we're gonna keep the idea, but we're gonna make it a bit bigger. Maybe like three times the size. Ah! I should probably have a respawn point <laughs> over here. Alright, so that's the starting little tutorial platforming section. Then we're going to have this. That's going to be bigger, so that'll be like up to here probably. Something like that. And then I'm going to have like a one-way door. So you can't go down here. I'll have some way that, like, blocks this off. But, like, later on we're gonna be able to climb back up from the void section. And, like, come back here. But for now this is gonna be blocked off somehow, I'm not sure how I'll do it. We'll figure it out. Might have to like code like gates or something. Oh, because you date the void, that's why. That's why there's a void section. Then here we're gonna we're gonna get dash, I think. How should we get dash? I feel like we should get it here. Is it gonna be like the NPC here? who gives it to us, or is it like, the power of the door bestows upon you dash. Dash rewarded after circle. So you want to hold another area here with without dash? Maybe. Yeah, we could do that. I guess that would make more sense, because that's more important of an event. Then, uh, yeah, we'll introduce bounce pads here. And then after circle, the circle date, we'll get, um, we'll get dash, and then we'll have dash for the other three areas. That works. Because then you still have dash most of the game. And then maybe I want to have something here that you need to dash to. Some like secret here that you need to dash to, that'd be cool. So like over here or something. So you can come back. There's some kind of path back here. I would need to make it, because right now it's blocked off. But you can like return to the starting area. And then be like, doop. Shit. <laughs> it's a bit far. But I like the idea of that. You can't make it. Alright, <laughs> we've got a good start on this. Look at the map, it looks so cool. So yeah, I'm gonna go and break chat. And then we'll probably spend another two hours or so. Doing more level design, doing more... Maybe some more other stuff. Maybe we'll try and get the circle date started off. Get the dialogue a bit more... Uh, polished and, and good. So yeah. See you in a bit, chat.
Hello. Alright, what were we doing? Oh, I was gonna check the poll. I never checked what won in the poll. Some. That's gonna be weird. Or how am I gonna pull that off? Some dates are skippable. I guess we can just have a couple big pickups, like some platforming sections like eight of big pickups, and then you can skip some of the dates. I don't know, it still seems weird to me, but I guess I have to go off of what chat says. Alright, so this will be the bounce pad section. I know I should maybe be doing other things, but I just want to do the fun stuff. So currently Dash is, uh, I'll probably, I might improve it a bit, because right now you can dash multiple times in midair, like, you can just mash it infinitely in midair. So I'll probably have a requirement where you have to be on land, but it's just like a little boost, set length, left and right. Honestly, what we could do, chat, is uh, if we do want to have more abilities later, we could give like more directional dashes maybe. And then you kind of have like a double jump as well through that. You can't jump this. can't jump that high. I guess you can jump two blocks. Maximum. This isn't... this isn't... properly placed. It needs to be on the grid. That's illegal. Okay, let's move the player over here. Why is the boost so shitty now? <laughs> the boost sucks. Something happened to the boost. Oh, I know, because the boost power... I had to re I had to change the jump power, but the boost power is still what it used to be. No, it's 600. Wait, what? Okay, something's wrong here. Oh, this is supposed to be power. Right. So now everything's fixed, chat. It's gonna be perfect. We're gonna have 600 uh, velocity on the boost. It's, it's great. Wait, it's slowing down. I think. Thought it was slowing down. Oh! Jeez. When does it stop? There we go! <laughs> It's just fun to watch. I know I'm wasting time, but this is just fun. Oh. Found the level.
We should just leave this in the game, right? It'd be great. It's a good mechanic. Whoa, what? Oh, it landed on it again. <laughs> it, <laughs> right, because it didn't move. Prediction if it will clip through? Dude, it won't clip through. Unity is too strong. Okay, we're going to uh, lower that a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Move to like 590. Whoa, that's still really high. Hold on, I need a better judge of how high this is by putting things next to it. I think that's really high though. Yeah, that's very high. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe a bit much still. Surprise, because that's 18. It's not that different. The difference between like 14 and 18 is so high. That's still really high. What the heck? That's 16? Isn't that the same? That feels the same. How is that two units of Velocity. What? That's fifteen. Is it? Ha is it doubled? Maybe. There's something else going on because what? If I put this to fourteen, which is the same as jump, I set it to two times. Okay. That makes sense. That's still a bit high, I feel like. Okay, how about... Where where am I setting it two times? I'll just remove that. Because that's unnecessary. And the collision? Okay, yeah. I don't know why I did that. That's kind of redundant. Okay, so then it was, it was two times... It was really high, so we'll just put it to 20. Adam, thank you for the $10. So it's like combat. <laughs> I'm not adding combat at all. <laughs> There's no way. That's a pretty good height. You know, you're not zooming across the universe, but you still gain some... get a lot higher than you would normally. Maybe I'll do 21. I think 21 is perfect. See, there, I, I knew that like everyone was going to come up with these crazy ideas that I have no way I'm ever going to do. Because <laughs> that's, that's what everyone does when you're not a game dev. You're like, oh, you know, you should just like have like 10 different classes to choose from and melee combat with like six weapons. Like, yeah, that shit's impossible. Alright, how should we do this? Maybe just have a wall to get over for the first one? Just to like, learn, oh, that's what that does. And then... We'll start doing, start having some like, hazards you have to avoid and stuff. Is that a good height? Like, this, this game is already going to take forever. Why can't it move? Wait, what happened? Hello? Why, 
am I suddenly getting null errors? I just moved a platform, what happened? When did the canvas get, d d like, broken? What? I must have done that by accident. The canvas was, like, disabled. What happened? What did I do? Chat, what did I do? I broke everything. What happened? Every canvas item is disabled. How did that even happen? No, this is my old canvas. This is the old canvas I stopped using. Where's my new canvas? Did it delete my canvas? What happened? Why did that happen? What? Hello? My canvas disappeared. When did that happen? I must- did I delete something and accidentally delete the canvas? When did that happen? Here? Oh my god. Okay, we got it back. I deleted the entire canvas. How did that even- What? How did that even select that? It's not supposed to select that. Where's the dialogue system? Did I delete- Is that what I deleted? Where's this? No, that's like in space. I don't know how it deleted that. Okay. Um, why don't? Why am I still getting errors? What happened? What did I do? This is stupid. I just lost a bunch of progress because everything broke. The fuck? What? Love text is apparently not exist. Which, I don't know why that happened. It disconnected all of my... Why did it do that, though? I thought I control z to before anything broke. Why is it still all gone? That's really weird. Well, apparently I have to re-drag all those in. For some reason. Because it decided to just permanently remove those when I accidentally deleted the canvas. Even though I controlled Z to before I deleted the canvas, it still lost every connection. And now I'm eating into the space again. Okay. Well, at least we figured that out. I'm pretty sure th this doesn't change the code, right? So the code still is not times two? Okay. It's just editor stuff. So just set it back to 21. Bear, I haven't seen you in like 10 years. Garwin, thank you for the three months. Okay. So, someone said you could like hide this. How do you hide it? That would be nice to hide this so it doesn't freaking. That doesn't happen again. Although I've never accidentally done that. And I never hide it, so I'm like. How'd that even happen? It doesn't usually select the canvas if you go like this, right? The canvas isn't selected. I don't know how that happened. I'm like, how did I select the canvas? 
The only selectable thing is this out here. Left object, there's an eye on a hint. Eye and a hint. Left of an object. Cool. What does a hand do though? That means you can't click on it? Like in the editor? You'd think those would be connected. <laughs> like you don't want to be able to click things when they're invisible. But whatever. Okay. Oh, that was scary, but... <laughs> We should be fine now. Okay, can we make it up this T? On the bounce pad? Nope. Not even close. We need to lower the T. Six, maybe? And then that's seven because the top part. That might still be too high, but let's see. No, that's perfect. Just enough. You actually do get more height if you jump on it. I don't know if we're gonna like make it so you have to jump on it. Should we? Like, what? We need to decide what this is even gonna be, because right now it's just a squished cylinder. What is this thing gonna be? Because we're gonna be in kind of like a. grassy kind of area, I think. There's like vines over here. Trampoline. Moss. Is moss bouncy? <laughs> Could do mushrooms. Although, then are, aren't we just copying Hollow Knight? Because Hollow Knight invented mushrooms. Creature with bouncy belly. <laughs> I mean, that's... that's good. <laughs> A frog. That's, you know, it, it's hard to draw, but we could figure something out. And, you know, frogs were, like, one of the things that people wanted in the game that we've kind of scrapped, because people wanted to date frogs. So maybe frogs can just be the bounce paths. Well, if anyone wants to uh, design the frog bounce paths... I'd be down if we get a good design. <laughs> Cruel to the frogs. We're just bouncing on them, we're not like, killing them. I think that's a good idea. If anyone has other ideas, then you can post those. I'm down to have a more creative uh, bounce pad rather than just mushroom. Why was I going on this tangent again? Why did I need to know what the bounce pads were? Was I just like... Did I just think of that, or was there some reason I wanted to know that? Oh, because I was trying to decide if you could, if you had to jump on them or not. Which the frogs you'd probably have to jump on. So maybe... Hmm. Maybe if you have no Y speed? 
or no X, yeah, no Y speed, then it doesn't work. It is a trigger. So I might want to make this, um, hmm. Because I don't want you to just have, like, walk through it. I kind of want it to be a solid object so you know it's interactable. So if you just walk through it, I want you to, I want it to, like, stop you. So maybe if we just make it not a trigger. Let's try this. I'll make it not a trigger. And then we can use collision enter. Move bounce pad to here. Have the same code, but we're gonna check if the velocity is, uh, the Y velocity is not zero. Parameter, why is that wrong? I need to do game object for collisions. Okay. See if this works. I'm curious. <laughs> nope. Kind of just stick to it. Whoa! I bounced. <laughs> what did I put as the Y check? I must have messed that up, right? It doesn't equal zero. Well, I mean, shouldn't that. Shouldn't that be most cases? You'd think? Trigger hitbox is the same as the collision. What does that mean? <laughs> this collision should be happening. Lower than zero? Well, what? this is still not going to work because it already was calculating that. It was anything not zero, it should have bounced, but it didn't work. So there's something else wrong here, it's not that. Don't know what's going on. your vector I inside of block. What is that matter? It's not the exact same. We could just do it, make it a trigger still and bounce you slightly left or right. But then I have to do a check on what side you're on. I'm just surprised this doesn't work. Like, I don't know why this is so weird. Hmm. 
Make the rigid body collider smaller than the collider that checks the collision. Why would that matter? Why would size of collider matter at all? Okay, I, I'm gonna make it a trigger again and we're, we're gonna bounce you left or right depending on where you are. Oh god, what's happening? I control Z too much. Uh. Uh. I went way too much. Okay. Before I made that, that's good. <laughs> I went too far. Okay. So if you collide with the trigger, we're gonna check if your body dot velocity dot y is less than zero. If it is, we're gonna check. X is less than collision dot transform dot position dot x. So that would be less, that'd be on the left side. Then we want to I don't have a function to push you left or right, because I just have jump. It could just be a similar thing to this. This is a bit jank, but I don't know how to do this otherwise. I just got deja vu from saying that. Okay. I probably said that before, though, <laughs> in these streams. I guess you don't need to zero it out. Maybe you should. Zero and then like two. Or that would be minus two. I can make this a separate function maybe, but let me just see if it actually works. So what this should do is if you bounce into it when you're not when you have no vertical speed, it pushes you away left or right, but if you do, it'll do the bounce path. If I did that right, which, you know, <laughs> probably not. Oh, it's still a collider. Nope, didn't work. Wait, this is the opposite. This is the opposite. <laughs> I have it opposite. Uh, what? Didn't I just change it? the heck? Uh, join the Discord, put it in the... Where is it? Dating platformer suggestions. Greater than or equal to? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, it's at least not bouncing me anymore. But it's supposed to be pushing me away. It's probably, it, it's, it pushes me away on the first enter, and then it just doesn't care after that. Is it even trying to push me though? I don't notice it. Make it like 20. Oh, it's getting overrided by the frickin' left and right. Because left and right just sets the X velocity and it like overrides this. So maybe this is a scenario where we use add force. And we just add force left or right. Because who cares if the frog bounce is consistently pushing you left and right? I'll check the Discord in a bit. Yeah, I'm posting a fi finished build when we're done in uh, a year. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Why isn't that applying a force? Like, I don't move at all. Yeah, I'll play the Rainwell DLC. I don't know. They don't even have a release date, though. So that could be like a whole year or more from now. Although most of it's apparently done. Like, a lot of it's going to be just fan made mod content, so maybe it won't take too long. But when that comes out, I'll play it. <laughs> Whenever that is. Transform X less than Collision Transform X. So is this just not happening at all? What if I make it 25,000? Wait, it worked. What? Why does it only work at 25,000? <laughs> uh, Jeez. How much power do you need? Okay, that's a bit... It's a bit hectic, but it does work. It's weird that it only works when I put it at a thousand. I don't really like how jumpy it is. I don't know. I might need to figure out something else for this. Point effector? What is that? This is too- I don't like this. I think it should just stop me. Instead of bouncing me, because this is insanity. I'm just- I need to figure out how to do that. Put a collider. So put a collider and then a trigger like in the center? I don't want you to be able to like 
jump and land on the corner and not have it bounce you. But if I don't have it... If I don't have it separate, then walking into it will hit the trigger. So how do I do this? Maybe the trigger... Have the trigger check for Y velocity. But have it be above the ground, sticking out of a collider. So this is a collider, right? Then have a separate one. That's the trigger. Frick. Which will be like sticking out on top. It needs to be the same size though. Because otherwise you can miss it and stand on the corner, which we don't want. It should honestly be even bigger. Just slightly, just in case. Then this way, that's just a normal collider. Trigger should probably be a bit bigger. Why? In case, uh... You, like, clip through it or something. I like that. And then instead of doing this crazy freaking check, we can just have the collider do that check. And then we check if velocity y. Is less than zero. Shut up, bracket. There's nothing wrong there. Now it's a collider, but if you land on top, boing, nice. I just need to make, I just need to give it a platform effector so it doesn't stick you. Whoa, that was weird though. Actually, that was probably because it's sticking. Let me get rid of that first. Let me remove the sticking and then we'll see if that happens again. Not one way, 180. Why am I stuck? Oh, I didn't apply the use by effector. This collider has its is trigger checked. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, there we go. Boing! This is perfect. And you can fall onto it too. But you can't jump onto it from below like this. You have to actually land on it. Whoa, that was weird. How'd I do that? I mean, that doesn't seem like something you do very easily, but. I landed on it! <laughs> How do I do this? <laughs> it's magic. And I can't jump because it doesn't count as a ground. Let me make it ground. I can't make it ground. Wait, is ground through layer? Or tag? I think it's through layer. I think it's through layer. Or like the actual ground check is through layer. So if somehow you can land on this. It's very weird. It's not the biggest deal now that I have uh, it set as ground. So let me see if I can pull it off again. Because then I can at least jump off of it. It's hard to do. 
it's not something that'll happen very frequently. I can't even replicate it now. God damn it, dude! Okay, there we go. So, <laughs> apparently this can happen. I don't know how, considering the trigger is... The trigger is bigger than the... Collider. So this should be illegal. At least now you can... What? It's not letting me bounce now. Okay, this is a problem. <laughs> it won't let me bounce if you do that. If you land on it in the glitchy way and you jump, it doesn't let you bounce. That's really weird. Velocity is high enough you can clip through colliders. Well, how thick do I have to make it then? <laughs> This is a hard one. I do not understand. Same. That's dev. <laughs> Game dev in a nutshell. I'm clipping through it. See, what I don't get is why when I jump. When I jump, shouldn't that all be fine after that? Because I leave the collider and re-enter it from a normal spot. Why doesn't that bounce me? That's really weird that after you get the glitchy landing and jump, it's still broken. Like, what? Why? That doesn't make sense to me. I can understand some jank with the colliders where sometimes you can clip through, but why does it break afterwards? I can't even, I can't consistently have it happen. It's like... Look at this, why does this happen? Why doesn't it bounce me? I'm leaving it and I'm entering the trigger with Y speed. So why isn't this bouncing me? This should bounce me. It's very weird. I can try making the collider a bit bigger, the trigger a bit bigger. I just don't want it to be like huge. I don't want you to like jump over here and then it bounces you. Like jump here and get bounced. It needs to at least look like you're on the thing. I can make the this collider a bit smaller. Whoops. Because this doesn't need to be super accurate. That can just be... Once you get too close to the center. The trigger, make that a little bigger. Maybe it should be separate? Would that help if it was separate, like, entirely? Is there a problem with them overlapping? Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Too many colliders. No, how do I like, I can't even, I don't even, no, I got it again. I was gonna say I'm not gonna be able to replicate it, I just got it already. Okay, so this fixed the problem of jumping breaking it, of it being broken after you jump, because that bounced me. But I still can clip onto the platform itself by doing like a weird landing. This seems tough to get rid of. It's not like, it's not that bad of a bug really. What? Why'd that one do that? I just, that was a normal fall. I just fell off here. 
I wasn't even trying to do it that time. I just freaking fell from here. And landed on it. Did I just find the perfect angle to get through? The check for Y speed happening after the collision just slows you down. Why would it do that? Because it's in this void, like with this void running compared to the physics frames. Shouldn't this- this is collider code though, why would this run separate? That would be kind of stupid if their collision check code ran separate from the physics code. Does it? You'd think that would be on the, the physics code. Steps. Maybe it's not. I don't know, this is a built-in thing that they made. That happens at, like, the frame it notices a collision. I think Unity does 50 <laughs> FPS physics frames. I'm just, I'm not entirely sure when these happen. But, like, I can't really do anything about that, anyways. There's gotta be something I can do to avoid this, though. This is really weird. This is a dumb bug. Why does this happen? I'm gonna look at frogs people drew. <laughs> oh, we've got a lot of stuff. Hold on. There's a lot of stuff to look at. Discord time, let's go. Here's an idea for gate design. I mean, we've already kind of made a gate design, but yeah, I did it very similar to that. The character is going to look like shapes or the humanized forms. See, I'm, I'm not sure about this one because I think in game they're going to be very basic. They're going to have very basic looking shapes and stuff. But during the date, I might have like more detailed graphics for the character. We'll have to see. Although if I'm doing all the art, it's going to be pretty crummy, I think. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I will keep it really basic. A scene where you have to break the ice. <laughs> the circle of love. Cat girl circle. Hexagon's Garden. This looks really nice. This looks so cool, look at this. We got like flowers and stuff and vines. Wait, I love this art, this is great. We have like a thorny, bushy garden flowers and stuff. I like this idea for Hexagon's area. I think we're gonna do something like that. The playground. Area full of toy bricks. Possible damage through stupidly sharp Lego bricks lying around. <laughs> That's an interesting idea because Shelly is a platform. And there could be like, it's like a block tower kind of place. It's an interesting idea. 
I do- I love the idea of Legos. Stepping on Legos and you, like, <laughs> get hurt and respawn from the Legos. It's pretty funny. Although, I don't know if I like the playground when we're, like, dating them. I don't know if I want to be date dating... Like, I don't know. Hazard Cacti. I love this little- I love the little art of like the main character, even though they're literally just a box. But seeing all the different drawings of them... <laughs> it's great. Hazard Cacti, Platforms, Landscape Rocks. This is a cool area. Honestly, we could even make the starting area, like, a cactusy area. Like, maybe that can be the spikes in the starting area. And then that'll differ it from the, the garden. It's more of a, like a... I don't really know what to call this. It's not really like a desert. still kind of like grassy, but it has cacti and stuff. And a plant. I like that idea. Pick the right answer with Shelly, they will drop bricks, and your goal is to slowly make it up to them. That is cute, but that's like hard to code, especially... The way I have it now, I'm using like a separate dialogue thing to uh to use the to do the dates it's just gonna be like going through the dialogue and it'd be hard to like sync up other things happening while that's going on that is cute though i'll think about it i like the heart as the o and now we got frogs bounce on frog's belly i don't know the perspective is a little weird on that one but that's the that's kind of like the style of art I'm going for. Could just have a really round frog like that. <laughs> Not by me. Just a really round fella. Cutesy style frog. But like the thing is with this frog. When you jump on it, like, what happens? Because you're, like, jumping on its head. But if you jump on Big Roundy Frog, and you bounce, that makes sense. Whip Frog. See, the belly idea is also good. This just looks like a slug, though. <laughs> bounce on slugs, that could be a thing. The big old bullfrog. This is a bouncy head. I mean, that kind of looks bouncy. If Hexagon has a garden, they should pick flowers and make a romantic bouquet. Bouquet. It's an idea. I think Hexagon's garden is definitely going to happen. I liked the idea someone mentioned earlier of Shelly's area being like clouds, like a cloudy area. I think that's still my favorite Shelly idea. And that would mean the only- if we do cloud cloudy area for Shelly, then we just need a area for the void. Like maybe a bit more spooky looking. It's the only area we're really missing. And what's everyone's thoughts on the frogs? What's your favorite frog? Or like style of frog? Do you think big round frog? Or like belly frog? Which might be a bit harder to draw. I think big round frog would be the easiest to draw. Belly. We can see it, like, when I try and, like, actually draw myself. 
and see if I can make one actually look good. <laughs> or, like, actually look like a frog. Because I feel like round frog is going to be easier to draw for me, but we'll see. Oh shit, chat. Secret mod zone. You don't get to see that. Anyways, back to uh, the bounce pads being glitched. We could honestly just design more of the map and come back to this later, because it's not like that pressing of an issue. It's just strange. Because I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to fix this. <laughs> Seth didn't know about it. I just did it again! How does that work? How do I how do I do that? What? That doesn't e It's so weird. It's so weird. That wasn't even on the corner, it just happened. I don't even think it ma I think it's just RNG. I can't, I can't do it on purpose though. It never happens. A few folders to organize the objects. I mean like in the Discord. Like more channels for different stuff. I mean we haven't really been getting that much stuff recently. So I don't think it's really needed. I can't replicate this. In Unity, I do have different folders. I have like scripts, scenes. I think the only thing, I don't have an images folder yet. Because I just recently got images in. But I was, I would have done it after there was a lot of them. We'll do it now. Oh, you mean here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. This is a mess. I forgot about that. This is a complete mess. I wasn't even looking here. Okay, get every platform. Pop it in here. I think that's everyone. Pulsed forms! They didn't break anything, right? We're good. We're good. The entire game didn't crash, so I think we're good. Okay, platforms. And then I'll have like an object. This is the old canvas. I should just delete this, because we're not using it now. Delete! I would just keep it there in case I wanted I needed to go back or something. That was the right canvas, right? I didn't screw myself. <laughs> yeah, we still have a canvas. I'm gonna pop everything else in... a objects folder. Make sure to zero this out. Wait, did I move the Z position on this? No, we're good. Objects. Oh, that's so much nicer, isn't it? What is square two and square three? Oh, those are just old platforms. Okay. And circle will leave out of there. 
Same with the canvas and the player. This, what is this? This is a platform. There we go, chat. <laughs> I for, I like completely forgot about that. I wasn't even noticing how like disastrous the left side was was turning into. Camera bigger? Yeah, we can make it a little bigger. I agree. I think it's too small. Six. Oh, it's so weird. I think this is better, but it's it's like jarring switching cameras at sizes like that. Because I'm not used to it. <laughs> but I think this is better. Because now you can see the top of that platform. Whole map loaded at once, probably. Just to make it easier. It's not like we have enemies or anything, it's just platforms. If you literally just have platforms, that's not taking up much resources. If you have like enemy scripts doing like things every frame and a bunch of objects with scripts everywhere. But like these don't even have scripts. I have one script on myself. And, like, that's it for this entire game right now. So, I don't really think we need to load in things separately at the moment, because it's just a simple, simple game. That's a good practice to do that, but, like, I don't think it's necessary. I did it! I did it again. This shit sucks. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? I need to figure out how to remove this. The problem is I think it's it's not an issue with my code, it's an issue with the colliders. Like just Unity colliders. I have no idea when it'll be complete. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time though. Even very simple games take a long time. And we're actually getting somewhat somewhat complex. I'm trying to keep it doable. Which is why I'm turning down a lot of ideas, sadly, but I don't really have an idea of how long it'll take. Yeah, I don't think it ever happens if you just go up and down. If I just bounce on the corner... Falling straight up and down, it doesn't happen. Ugh. It'll be up when we're done, yeah. Yeah, you can submit level designs. Any sort of ideas. I can I can even always like, you know, bounce off of them if I'm not completely gonna do them exactly, but maybe I'll get some ideas. Cause a lot of the times it's hard to like without the game it's hard to tell exactly how to place things in a pleasing way, but definitely think of some things. You had a hot dog stand somewhere. <laughs> That's the most important thing you have to add. Okay. I hate this bounce pad. I don't know why it's broken. I don't know what to do about it.
You just pass through this entire thing. It's huge, though. How are you passing through this? Make it, like, two. Two, one. And just have it poke out a bit. I don't know what to do. See, at this point, it kind of looks like I'm not even landing on it. Because the collider's so much higher above it. Maybe... Shrink this one a bit? Or... Because here's the thing with the this collider. It doesn't really need to be... Well, if you stand on it, it'll look a bit weird. But you're not supposed to be able to stand on it. So we shouldn't be designing this in a way that it should look proper when you stand on it, because you're not supposed to stand on it. So I should make this really tiny. Like that. And then this can be a bit smaller. But I'll keep it at 1.5. Have it still look like it's actually in the right spot. And maybe that'll help a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to figure out something else. But Maybe just from messing with it a bit, it'll be at least more consistent. Let's bounce on it for like another two minutes and see. <laughs> see if I can glitch it again. So I think the problem is when you have a lot of speed, you can clip through the trigger and it doesn't even notice and then once you're colliding with the other collider it ignores the trigger oh additionally something i should do actually i think this will help maybe have this be a separate nested object rather than the two colliders in the same thing, because it, maybe it's getting confused. Come on, I wanted to paste the one I had. So now it's a completely separate object. Then this one doesn't need the tag. This one needs to tag. I don't know if that helps, but I think already by making the trigger huge, it's probably helping a lot. So it didn't happen while I was bouncing. But maybe this will help even more. It hasn't happened! Let me just make sure. I think we're good. And if it can still happen, then it's not the end of the world because it's even more rare now. And you can just jump off and bounce. But I can't get it to happen now. I think it was just the size of the bounce trigger. Is this Undertale? I mean, you got dating, you got uh, hearts, same thing. Okay, I think we're good, chat. I think I fixed it. I think the game is saved. We, we would have got a zero out of ten IGN, but now we fix the bounce pads, and it's it's a nine point five. All right, moving on. Why I think thanks for the five months, you can know. Rescue up, thanks for the prime earlier. Unicorn pony, thanks for the four. 
Palazia, thanks for the 8. Mini Squirrel, thanks for the 11. Astromanius, thanks for the 9. Pink, thanks for the 9. Roblon, thanks for the 8. Just below Elden Ring, yeah. It's kind of hard to top Elden Ring with a team of... Uh... I mean, we have a huge team, right? I have all of chat with me. We have three, like, you know, several hundred person team right here. My Discord has, like, thousands of members, so maybe we have a bigger team than Elden Ring, to be honest. Okay, let's see if we can design more bounce pad stuff. So, I'm thinking we up the ante after this bounce pad. Now you're bouncing above death. Gotta jump down, bounce off of this one. Bounce over like a... What are these gonna be? Cactus? I think these are gonna be cac cacti. Bounce over a cactus covered wall, or like whatever this is. On to another one. Is this high enough? Because <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I need a in-between section before we're doing this. I feel like this is a bit difficult compared to the first time we've ever used one of these. This might go further over. Ah! I think at first over here we're just gonna do like a... Um, hmm. We'll just do a more simple bounce to a platform, and then we'll do that after. But you'll have to jump a bit further. Wow, I nailed that exact number. Now, we don't want to go up too much because I want to have you circle back here through the other areas. Like, there's going to be the lower area. Then there'll be, like, the garden somewhere over here and the clouds area. Say, ah! Ten more times. We'll get there. Oh, wait, I respawned down here. That's weird. I think that's my, I think that's the zero zero possession. I had no set spawn. So I need to make sure the set spawn is like here when I, when we get, uh, I guess I could do that now. Although here's the thing, it's going to set it to... Oh, I know how to fix this easily. And this will make it good for testing, too. Instead of it going to 0, 0, set it to transform. At the start. So, response position equals transform.position. That way, whenever you start the game, it'll set it to uh, where I start. So right now, It'll be right here. And that way we can't have weird... Oh, respawn at zero, because you never hit a respawn point. Okay, good. It's good we notice that. <laughs> oh, that one's scary. That's hard to do. I might have made that too difficult. 
I think that's too hard. I think I need to make that s shorter. Oh, you can do it though. You just have to be a gamer. Simply game. That's a little too difficult though. This early in the game. Look at this gaming though. I'm gonna move it down one block, I think. So I like the idea of having to jump here, so I think I'm going to put, like... Maybe something that makes you jump. Like this. So right now you can just walk off in both these situations, but I want you to jump on the second one. in 50 primal aspids into this game. Fluffy, <laughs> thank you for another 10. Jeez. What, was that triggered by something? Did I miss something? I see Lothi hasn't gifted any subs. <laughs> I see. Oh, it wasn't me that said it, so... I'm not being greedy here. Okay, I like this section. This is fun. Bounce, bounce. Maybe here we bounce again here. Let's not do a second one. <laughs> Roger, thank you for... 10 as well. I see the gifting wars are continuing. a solid map going on here now. The circle's gonna be at the end of this bounce pad gauntlet. We can even, we can have some more uh, mechanics later. Maybe we'll have like moving platforms or something else. Because after we do circle, the section is gonna be based on like dashing, so we don't really need a mechanic there, but maybe later on. Maybe we can have like some destructible platforms that like break when you stand on them. Like there's there's a lot of mechanics that are easy to implement. Saw blades. Yeah we could have moving hazards in one area. That would be good. Those aren't hard to make for sure. I think this would be more fun if these were spaced out better. We need to up the fun factor here. C 
sideways bounce pads. Interesting. Yeah, that's better. Less, less air time. Okay, we got up there. And what else can I do here? It's another interesting thing we can do with bounce pads. Moving bounce pad! There's a frog, though. So I don't know... If we can really have moving frogs, or like, how that would work. <laughs> Wait, the frogs are floating in midair. I'm just now realizing that. <laughs> they need wings now. <laughs> but like, if we do the, them sleeping... Helicopter hats. We might have to make them round frogs and then there's flying round frogs. <laughs> I don't know. Or clouds. I'm now realizing this is becoming problematic. Flower in the background, maybe? Lily pads that just float in midair. Doesn't have to make sense. My immersion, though. My fragile immersion. Here, I got a great idea for over here. We're gonna have you descend. And if you hit a bounce pad, you like bounce up into hazards above you. it up a little. Also, we need hazard response. Because you have to go through this whole section without dying, apparently. More frog and discord? Puck. Frog champ. Is there like, hold on, speedrun strats? Give me a sec. Speedrun strats. Damn it. You can't speedrun. I was gonna like see if you could jump, clear this whole platform and make it to the other side. It's almost possible. It's so close. 
What if I get it like pixel perfect? No, not quite. Which means we have to redesign. Speed run. Yeah, speed run. Oh, that's sick. I can't fit. Okay, you can't squeeze in a one by one block. <laughs> Wait, what is happening here? I thought I patched this. Also, uh, when you respawn, you carry your momentum, so I need to fix that. Because I just hit that and then I hit it again because I'm still flying upwards. So when you respawn, where's that code? It's literally just, it equals that. And then we also need to make velocity equals zero. It's a pretty simple fix. Not one, zero. Speed run. I'm too far left. Oh no, I'm not. We're good. Okay, if you jump here, you hit it. That's a bit unfair. No, that looks dumb. These not, these aren't aligned. That's illegal. It's a really long platform here. Yeah, this is a this is a playlist of a bunch of Mario Kart music. Speed run. There we go, that's good. If you do hit this, then you die. Except it doesn't yeet me in the air anymore. Even like, oh, you can't get back up. Not quite. Well, there'll be a way back anyways. A different path. Maybe I should make this so that you can get up though. We should have an optional thing here. If you go off like the left side. Something over this way. It's almost 5 p.m. It's not four hour stream yet. Last time I almost did it for five hours, but I'm probably not going that long today because... I don't know. Oh, you can get up here, that's cool. I like that. That was secret up there. Needs to be like blocking you though.
Here, we'll have like a bounce pad there, and then we'll have a bunch of hearts that you get after bouncing. Maybe center that. Center it and like move these around. So you have to navigate and get them. Yeah. Yeah, so the the heart assets, it's kind of the style I think I'm gonna go for is the uh the like thick MS paint pixely lines. I think that's the art style that we're going for. Get the hearts. Woo! Fun! Video games. Why can't I go through this one? I think I didn't use the proper... Because I, I made this one. And all these ones are the old one. Shoot. Apply all. Oh, it's fixed now. Okay. They're all still linked to the prefab, so... Just applying that actually just made all of them the same, so we're good. Now it blocks you. Whoa. Oh, you can make it up. Look at that. Pixel perfect jump. This, though, you're screwed. Well, I mean, if you respawn points here. I'll have a way to circle back here anyways. I don't think this should be the intended circle back route because it's really awkward. Because the whole point of this area is kind of when you bounce, you go into spikes. So you're supposed to avoid it. Also, that's too easy to avoid, isn't it? Isn't this too easy to avoid? Make this longer. And you can't see that. It's kind of, you don't want to put things that you can't see. Let me see what the camera looks like. I hope it'll be in the Steam store. It'll be for free. Maybe not Steam store, but... It will be free. Yeah, you can't see that. That's kind of scummy. You can't even see the bounce pad, and then it just gets you. It just doesn't even kill me now. This area is having a paint to, to design here. Maybe something like that? That's not, that's illegal! Illegal location. You can't see it on the way up. So maybe it's fair. I want to at least see like a little bit of it from that position. Okay, you can see the whole thing here. And you can avoid it. Now this one needs to be that high to have that happen there. Maybe I'll put a little platform we drop onto. A safety platform and then You have to try and avoid this one. Oh, I'm pressing Control S instead of D. That's why it's not duplicating. Yeah, 
Is that possible? <laughs> I think this one should be a jump over it like this. Ah, everything's so crammed here, dude. It's hard to design this properly in this little space. That's gonna just hit me, I think. But here, you can't really jump over that. I'll just, I'll make this smaller. Dating sim platformer, yep. My chat has come up with a bunch of crazy, wacky characters. Okay, we'll do this, and then you can, like, go further down here. It's the long-awaited return of me making games. Okay, we'll make this just, like, a little tunnel. Try and make this so you have to jump over this. But you're safe if you... Like, jumping is safe. As long as you don't land on the frog. is onwards. Maybe not that much onwards. Okay, we'll try that out. Optional date be frog. <laughs> okay. You hit this, you go in there. I can't see the ground though, that's a problem. We need visible ground. Wondering how to do this properly, because <laughs> we could always make a look down function. Scurry look down. Guide with coin thing. I don't like those. Honestly, when there's like a leap of faith and it's like, oh, but there's coins here. That's how you know, but like, I never trust them. I don't trust the coins. They're gonna lead me off a cliff. I've played Mario Maker, I, know, I don't trust the coins anymore. Well, you don't wanna just make a leap of faith not knowing where you're going. And a lot of people would hold left and then land and get put in the spikes and have no chance. Yes, the respawn's right there, but it's still unfair. How high does the frog need to be to see it? Because I could just make it the frog itself is higher up, and then you know you have to avoid the frog. You can see the frog there, but it's like impossible to jump. Is 
it probably is possible, but it's like path of pain levels of oh. Saving that for the the secret difficult platform section. Now here's the thing with frogs; they don't necessarily have to abide by the rules of platforms, right? Because they're not going to be grid based. I'm not having like grid based art, so the frogs don't necessarily need to be. That's good. They don't need to be locked to the grid, exactly. I already have one that's not locked to the grid. You mostly care about the boxes of the map because if if you have something like this and then you suddenly have something like this, you like the art's gonna look stupid. That's why I'm like, that's illegal when the, the platforms are wrong, but objects, it doesn't really matter. And here we can honestly have this one on a platform. Oh. Okay, it'll be floating. But then if it's floating, then you... You can just walk under it. So we need cactus. But then this cactus is really easy to walk into. Because you can just walk slightly too far and you'll hit the cactus. So I need some way to block you. I have an idea. One by one, on the edge. That way, even if you go under the frog and jump to the frog... Oh. Okay, well that's gonna need to be dealt with, but... <laughs> At least it works. The level works. And you can see the frog and everything's good. But I need to fix that glitch. So maybe we'll look into that. I thought I fixed this already, but clearly not. If I... Okay. I need to bring my player over here. We need to do some testing. Oh god. The platforms list. I probably need to sep separate that into areas too, so it's less of a mess. Dateable cactus. Okay, so this platform is not causing the glitch. Let's do like a staircase. Well, I actually can't hit that one. Maybe it's the illegal height is the problem. The illegal height glitches. So because the frog is at an illegal height, I know exactly why this is happening. The ground check is going so far that it still thinks I'm on ground right now. So we need to reduce the length of the ground checks and it probably will be fixed. Because here how, here's how the game decides if I'm on ground. It's drawing a line one unit down left and, on the left and right corners and checking if there's a layer called ground. That's a full unit. That's way too much. We're gonna make that like point four or five. Just because it's still enough that like it's pretty big, but should make it point one. Yeah, maybe I should make it really tiny. Chat, I can't jump. Okay, we need to figure something out here. Where's the player transform? 
It's on top. The transform's on top. It's like floating slightly above the player. So you'd think one unit wouldn't even reach the bottom. So how is it that far down? I think this is the player transform is right here. That doesn't make sense. That's really weird. Maybe that's the camera transform? I can't see the player transform? No, it doesn't detect collision, it's just position. But that's how I'm checking the ground for the ground. Like, this knows that I'm on ground right now. It's stopping me. So the collision's working, it's based on my box. But the actual check to make allow me to jump is uh, not working. It's It doesn't think I'm touching ground. Fix the player? I don't know how to do that. The reason it's up is because the camera is slightly above. Which is something I think is a good idea, to have it slightly above. So you generally want to see things above you more often, I think. I mean, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't matter. No, I don't know how to make the ground check visible. I think I was trying to last stream and I couldn't figure it out. Offset from the camera? I don't know how it works. I thought it would just be in the center of the player and the camera doesn't matter, but it's weird to me that it's, uh, it's apparently up here. I feel like this isn't how it usually works. I didn't think parenting an object makes the transform change on the original object. I didn't think that did that. Why am I- I'm like angry at the song. I'm like stop blowing that freaking saxophone dude. I'm like pissed off now. <laughs> We're on the exciting... I need I need something more chill. I'm like angry at the music. <laughs> like it's not a bad song, but like because I'm like having troubles coding stuff. I'm like, shut the frick up. <laughs> it's like you're trying to figure something out and like logic it out and someone's blowing a saxophone in your ear. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, it's weird, like... I don't know why it's doing this. It's really strange. So I'm not used to the camera doing this. I think maybe... In my game, I had the camera at zero. In my other game. Is that weird to have the camera in the dead center? I feel like now it's weird. Now it feels weird, because I'm used to it not being. And we kind of designed the map like it in it, around that position it used to be in. So now it feels weird. There's got to be a way to, you know, just leave it, but figure this out. It's just weird that it changes the player transform. I don't know why it does that. Okay, well, I guess we can trial and error the numbers. That's all I can think to do, because I don't know what's going on.
Apparently one is too much. Four or five is not enough. Six, five lets you jump. Okay, we got him. <laughs> Problem solved. That's all we freaking needed to do. Wait, what? What was that? Why is it happening here now? Is that tagged ground? Is the blue tagged ground? It is! It's not supposed to be. Okay. That's also a problem. That we've now fixed. The frickin' respawns are count as ground. That's probably... Gonna fix a lot of things. What the heck? <laughs> it's still glitched in corners. Okay, corners are glitched. This isn't. This isn't. Corners. Corners are glitched. And that is an issue. And I, I think I know why it's happening. It's because... The ground check is above the bottom of the player, for some reason. If I could just make it below the player at all times, then we wouldn't have this issue. But that's becoming a problem because, uh... The transform's in such a weird spot, I don't know how to draw it from the bottom corner. Like, we could just, uh... Become one with the landscape. I'm creating a... Yeah. I'm creating a platform here. Make a camera script. Like, just have the camera snap to me every frame. Does that look smooth? I feel like it's all jumpy, right? When you do that? Or is it the exact same? As just having it parented? Make it smooth. Frickin' corners, dude. Corners are ruining everything. The game is back to a zero out of ten. Back from a 9.5 to a 0 again. It's a shame. This is the uh, Tuum soundtrack. Toem. Tuum. Tome. I don't know how to... I still don't know how to pronounce it. I'm trying to think of how to fix this. It's very strange. But I know why it's happening. It's just like the transform is changing based on the camera, which is really stupid. I don't know why it does that. I think that's what's happening, at least. I think it's because it's a drawing from here. But it can't be from here, because drawing a one line from the transform was working. 
Which, if it's from here, it that's not that wouldn't have worked. Same with six five. I'm doing six five. That's not six five from the from there. Debug mode. I can. I think I can do like a line draw. I don't think I want to use an entire tool for it. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just trying to fix the corner issue. That's all I care about. Draw line unity. Debug line. I know you can do this. This will actually help. Debug dot draw line. So what I can do is I can do debug draw line and do a horizontal x line this needs to be what is this start and color float duration so we'll do Transform.position.x minus 2 plus 2. I don't know what duration means. Can I just not fill that in? What's the color chat? That's very important. This is a very important decision you have to make. What is the debug color? Orange! Shit. Color dot orange. Is that dot one? Orange doesn't exist. Blue was the next one I saw. Apparently orange doesn't exist. Why do I need a duration? I have a start and end point. What does that mean? Oh, these are vector twos. Frick. Or is it vector three? Vector three. Two, zero, zero. I don't know what I don't know what uh, duration means, but hopefully one works. <laughs> one duration. Line. It's in my center. It's in my center. Okay, there. It's actually not in a bad spot. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. This is getting added as a feature. Why does this look cool? That's how long it exists for. It exists for a second. Look how cool this looks. It's like lagging behind me. Oh, that's because... Okay. That's because it's not updating constantly. It's drawing like... Every now and then. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. So, here's the strat. I, I got this strat. I understand now. It all makes sense. The transform is in the center, which means uh, I need to move it down. The initial position needs to be moved down by 0.5. I'm going to do 0.51, or, no, I'll do 0.5. Actually, yeah, 0.51, because that way it'll avoid, it won't even be poking above the player at all. 5, 1, and then we'll 
draw it from 5 1 to 6 5. Maybe I'll make that 6 9. Let's just see what happens. Let's go! Game saved! The power of 6-9. The corner glitch is fixed. I think. Let's get to that other spot it was happening in. I think we're good, chat. No! Why this corner? What's wrong with this corner? Oh. Why is this one different? Is there something with the tags going on here? Why would it work here, but not there? That's ground. This wall is ground. That's the whole issue here. The wall is not supposed to be ground. Every single wall in the game is ground. Those aren't supposed to be ground. That's a huge problem. Walls shouldn't be ground. They don't have to be. Oh my gosh. Walls are ground. That's a problem. The reason I have platforms on top of walls all the time is to never have to deal with this. Because in every scenario, There's a platform with that is ground above the wall. So every wall can just be not ground. And you don't have to deal with stuff like this. Did I get them all? I mean, that one doesn't really matter. Okay. Well, it should be good now, because now when I copy more walls, they're going to be... They're going to have the right layer now. Okay, let's go check the magic corner and see if it's fixed now. Moment of truth. Let's go! Corner's fixed. Back to a 9.5 out of 10. Nice. Okay, now we can get rid of this line, but it does look cool. Although, do these play? If, if you like... Do these show up in like normal gameplay? Because it's called a debug line, right? Is this just an editor, or is it, like, show up when you actually build the game? I don't even know. Let's check with Discord, let's see. We've got Froak. I do like the big bullfrog idea. The Void. You're falling into a hole. Yeah, I like the idea of falling into a hole. I just want to have, like, some kind of area. I mean, we don't have to. I want to have some kind of lower area that leads to the hole. Rather than it just being a random hole. Like, maybe it's a bit, like, of a spooky area. It kind of leads up to it, and then, like, you fall down a hole, and then it's, like, 
it, you find the void date there, rather than it just not having an area at all. But that was kind of the idea for uh, for that. Here's an area. Dark cave. Oh, I like the cave idea. Little mushrooms. This deep nest. Could do some kind of a cave, for sure. Frog. <laughs> Little legs sticking up. I actually do like that. Wait, are they gonna like bounce you with their legs? <laughs> this is good. Just land on its face. Big frog belly. Very simple art, though. So yeah, this is the more of the idea I thought people were saying, like, just kind of lying down, and then you bounce. <laughs> the face is flat. <laughs> I do like this, though. This one's funny. Is this one you use, like, the, the throat... The throat thing? Bubble. Throat bubble. Could work too. There's so many ideas, I don't know what one to pick. We have like a, a whole Smash Bros roster alternate skins on this one. <laughs> Okay, let me finish off this area real quick. I'm gonna end soon, but I just wanna have a little bit of a ledge here that you climb up. You bounce again on the other side. Maybe a bit high. Uh, 13. And then circle is going to be over here. I'm thinking we drop down with no way back. That's illegal. And then you have to enter this room and then it like there's like a door slams behind you. And then this is where the circle date happens. And you think it's going to be like a boss fight, but then it's a date. It should be like a... How dare... It, it should like... The, the dialogue should make you think it's going to be a boss fight. How dare you walk into here. Or something, and then... Looking so cute! That's, that's stolen from Chicory. That's stolen from Chicory. But we could do something similar. 
I just realized that's what the frickin' bug queen says in Chicory. <laughs> but like something like that. We could like we can do our own twist on it. I'll try not to have it be the same dialogue. Cause I just now realized that's what the bug queen says. But you know, same same kind of idea. And then you end up going on a date instead of a boss fight. And then you get Dash. I don't know how we'll work that into the story. It'll be like, love restored. Uh, love Dash. <laughs> Unlocked. I don't know how we're going to say that. Then you'll get dash, and then this section over here will be like a dash segment. You'll need dash to get through here to get like back. It'll kind of lead back over here maybe, and eventually back to the door. And I'll need some way to go after the door. We'll have to see. This kind of is very far right of here, so I'll need to figure something out. Of like where to plan the next areas. I know one area is going to be down here, but that's like maybe a later area. We'll figure it out. Add cactuses here, just because I can. I mean, there's not really a chance you miss anything here. Like, you're not going to hit those. Is that illegal? That is illegal. These are both illegal. I almost got arrested. I just I wanted to have a section here where you just kind of... At least there's a couple platforms where you don't need to boost pad. Something like that, maybe. There's not really a chance of getting hit here, but I guess that's fine because you just went through a difficult ish section, section. Okay, before we stop, I'm going to put my player at the start and we're going to go through. From the start to circle. Whoops. Oh yeah, the 3D button chat. You can press the 3D button, it's actually really fun. You can see like your map in 3D. Look how flat it is. Best Unity feature. Okay. Let's maximize on play and we'll playthrough. Debug line! Get rid of this. Hello everyone, welcome to, uh, this new game I'm playing, it's called... It doesn't have a name yet. It's a little platformer, it seems. If I time this right, I can get a heart. My love goes up. Head up here. Oh, I found more, more hearts, let's go. For love. 
feel so loved right now. Whoa, don't touch those sides. Those are bad red things. I wonder what this is. I wonder what this strangely small door is. That doesn't actually look very important, and I'm going to have to redraw it and make it more big. Whoa, we got bounce pads. This is the best game I've ever played. Oh, there's something up there. Let's go over there. More love. All right, let's go down here. Whoa, didn't expect that. That was crazy. I need to make sure I don't hit these things. Oh, what's over here? It's like a big open room. This is a boss fight? Hey, you're cute. Thanks. No problem, cutie. And now I jump off a cliff. Well, that was the game chat. That's what we've spent uh, nine hours working on. You can do it in like two minutes. <laughs> you can finish the whole thing in two minutes. But of course, this is just this. This is just the beginning. We're just getting started here. Eleven out of ten. Game of the year. We got a lot of progress today. We mostly did level design, but I love level design, so I had fun. We did some bug fixing. And like a very little amount of art. But at least it's starting to look like an actual game now instead of just uh, a bunch of crap thrown in like a little corner, which maybe I should delete now. Farewell tutorial zone or what early demo zone. We don't need you anymore. Next game dev stream. I'm. I think I'm. I'm gonna plan to do these on Tuesdays. Like every Tuesday, once a week. So that's the plan. Is next Tuesday. I want to do more Kirby this week. Friday, not stream day. Uh, it depends. I've just been like busy with stuff recently. Mostly house hunting. So it's hard to do four streams a week while I'm doing other stuff. But yeah. We'll see. This week might be... Um, I might actually be busy on Thursday. And then stream Friday instead. But I'll have to see what ends up happening with that. Yeah, next steps, uh, we're gonna get frog. I wanna get the frog art in next stream, so we'll, we'll draw the frog. I wanna make the date actually do all the text for the circle date. So instead of just the placeholder text I made, I wanna actually come up with all the dialogue and like chat can help me do that. Uh, redraw the freaking door. And maybe design the next area with dash after circle and potentially do some more art stuff because we are maybe behind on art although I usually do art like closer to the end so I don't know it, it, it depends what I feel like doing really maybe I'll be in an art mood or something but those are kind of the next steps as always you can suggest things in the discord if you have ideas doesn't have to be like an actual design or something. If you just want to like, if you just have an idea for like, you know, no no guarantees I'll do them because a lot of ideas are way outside the scope of what I'm going for. We're just making a short little silly game that I can realistically make in uh, not too many streams. But, you know, 
it always helps to get ideas and sometimes maybe you have a super high scope idea and then I, I'm like oh that gives me an idea for something similar I could do that's less crazy so yeah thanks for watching everyone that's gonna be it for today rough time cap It'd be nice to do it under 24 hours. But I'm not going to suddenly cap it and like rush to finish. But yeah. I'd say under 24 would be nice. But if we're not done, then I'm not going to be like... We're done right now and I'm going to leave things unfinished. Like I don't want to do that. But I am going to be trying to make it not too big of a scope that it takes way longer than that or anything. Because what, it's been like almost 10 hours doing this? Nine and a half? It's probably going to be more than 24. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Because I, I feel like we haven't made that much progress, but it'll be faster. Progress will be faster when because we have the player controller is like mostly ready and I don't think it'll be that long. Maybe. Maybe we can maybe we can do it. Maybe it's possible to sub one day. Sub one day? Possible. But yeah, uh Thanks everyone for watching. I've been enjoying these streams. I know they're very different, but I just like doing different things. I've been enjoying streams a lot lately because I feel like I've just been doing fun things. Like we're making a game, we're just chilling, playing other stuff. Even the Hollow Knight stuff has been really chill because I don't feel like I'm, I don't have to like uphold some level of skill. Like, the Hollow Knight stuff lately has just kind of been silly, too. And it's been, like, consistently different, too, so... Streaming's been good lately. I'll have to see... what else I can think of doing... in the future. Hope that I'm streaming less. I mean, a little bit. These have been long streams, though. I've been doing like four plus hours, which is more than my average, I think. But yeah, I, I streams. I might be missing a few because of house stuff. Because of I'm I'm gonna be rebuilding my PC probably in May because I'm having issues with mine kind of not like huge issues but like the power supply is loud it's like really warm too it's kind of concerning <laughs> and I just want to get my new CPU in because I got a like $600 CPU because I feel like mine's kind of outdated now So I've actually got a new tower too, because my current tower, the like front, the top panel is like broken. Like two USBs don't work. And the audio cable is like staticky. Like if I plug my headphones directly into it, it's staticky. And I'm like, okay, I, I'm just gonna get a new tower too. So I don't have that problem. And maybe, uh, hopefully, that'll fix all that. Towers aren't that expensive. But it is adding up. <laughs> I've spent a lot on this computer. Send me <laughs> your old CPU. I'll, probably, I'll keep it as like a backup, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I'd never use a backup CPU, though. I would just like buy a new one. Lolly, thank you for the 10 again. 
I need to like end stream before someone up before Roger gives ten to. Stop gifting. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not asking for money. I can afford my upgrades. I didn't end it fast enough. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. Alright, I'm gonna maybe raid someone, perhaps. Last time I was streaming this, Shay raided me, so I'm gonna raid. I'm gonna return the raid. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll be back soon. I might miss Thursday stream. I'll stay posted on that. Or I'll keep you posted. That's how you phrase that. If I miss Thursday stream, I'll stream Friday. But either way, it's, it's just going to be Curb. We'll just be playing Curb. Alright, see you everyone. Goodbye.